Well, hello, Pisces. Beautiful rising. Good afternoon and or lovely evening to you wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. Mm -hmm. Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is your weekly energy check-in, and this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter signs. So welcome or welcome back, Pisces, to another of your readings. I hope you are all doing so very well. All of my readings are intended to be timeless, meaning whenever you have found this video is when you are meant to hear this message. So use your intuition to tune into what the message is for you. All right. Okay. All right, Pisces. So let's get into your reading. Let's get your cards out here. They're jumping, but none of them are really coming out. So I'm going to pull those two because they were looking at me. And <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's get your tarot cards and we'll start your reading. So Pisces, I do apologize that I am posting these um, <laughs> um, a day later than usual. I, oops, okay, I guess you have two for your present energy and for your future. Um, yeah, a day later than usual. Uh, I, I took myself a day off yesterday, so yeah. It came on a water sign day, so I do apologize. But now, here we are, back to your readings, and I will be <laughs> back on schedule again next week. All right, your tarot card, I mean, your spirit animal this week is the chameleon spirit. Number 14, act as if. Act as if. Okay, okay, Pisces, act as if. So, you're being guided to blend in, to blend into your surroundings. So, let's read Chameleon Spirit. Act as if. Chameleon Spirit shares her gift with you today to prepare you for changes that will greatly benefit you. Outer conditions are changing and you're required to come into harmony with them so you can co-create your greatest dream. Feeling sensitive? Good, because that will come in handy, enabling you to determine how best to adapt to your environment and the people in it, while at the same time maintaining your integrity and inner equilibrium. Even if you feel like you're in uncharted territory, Chameleon Spirit has complete faith in your ability to fit in and learn the lay of the land, adapting as necessary. This is a fortunate time to act as if and do as others do until the new ways feel familiar and completely natural. Life is offering you a great lesson now. Adapting isn't about losing yourself. It's about learning how to dance with others. Amazing. Amazing. I love that that's coming through for you, Pisces. All right. So, yeah, act as if. So dance with, learn how to dance with others. And not just, um, yeah, I like that. So in your recent past, Pisces, you have extremes, hot moon, hot moon, number 34. So what I'm feeling with this is that maybe there were extremes within your own life that you found yourself going to. So um, the streams could be, the extremes could be any sort of thing. It could be, I mean, this definitely does look sexual. Um, it could be, um, emotional extremes, like if you, you know, have a temper, it could be, um, like addiction-ish, you know, with substances or something to that effect. 
um, but I'm definitely feeling it could have been more sexual, if you will. <laughs> um, but yeah, it feels like in your recent past, it was just brought to your attention more. So just like brought to your consciousness, like more where you are, where you were paying attention to it. And your tarot card is, oh, <laughs> the king of wands with passion. So, yeah, I feel that in your recent past, you have, um, you know, had extreme passion um, for um, just whatever it is, certain things. And uh, I feel that in the recent past, it was brought to your consciousness, just brought to your awareness like it's one thing when we like just know but when we actually start to know know like start to realize and start to actually feel what you know it is that others are talking about then it's like oh okay and so I feel that there's just something that came up in your recent past that you were paying more attention to consciously and in your present energy, you have hunger with wolf moon. So this is a lot of, honestly, this is like, it feels like it is a lot of like sexual energy, which is very interesting. You got extremes with hot moon and now you have wolf moon with hunger. And so I feel like there's something in right now in your present energy that you are wanting something that you are desiring and it you know it could be anything because you are being guided to act as if so whatever this is right now in your present energy that you find yourself to be hungry for um yeah you're being guided to act as if but yeah, it is being acknowledged by spirit and your tarot cards, oh my goodness, are the king of cups with support and the justice card with truth. So you have more king energy here. So you have the king of wands with passion and then you have the king of cups with support and then you have justice out here with truth. So whatever this is that you are hungry for right now in your present energy and the king of cups is your energy, Pisces, you know, so it's like right now you are in your own energy. You are in alignment with your own energy um, and it does feel like you are, there's something um, that in this hunger, it feels that Perhaps you are hungering for someone that, you know, could come in and help to support you um, and, you know, just bring you some justice, meaning, um, you know, probably like being your other half, being your balance. Like right here is the moon and, oh my goodness, I cannot, it's okay. So like, you know, the moon, like the sun to your moon, you know. So kind of that type of energy is what I'm feeling right now. But know this, Pisces, that all things are temporary. And so why, like, justice is always, as long as we are walking in our, our own truth and we are walking and we are being our own support, then that will be reflected back to us in the people that we see in our environment or meet in our environment. So just keep that in mind. And in your future energy, Pisces, you have boundaries. Waxing give us three boundaries. So, yeah, moving forward, you have what you realize moving forward is that Boundaries are needed and before perhaps you did not have boundaries, but after this particular experience, 
moving forward, you realize how important it is for you to have your own boundaries and for you to not only have healthy boundaries set, but to, you know, keep those boundaries up to support those boundaries. So I really do love that. So let's see what your tarot card is. Oh, it's the lovers with decisions. Yeah, so it's like moving forward, you have decisions to make about these boundaries that you set. And, you know, maybe you will be choosing between, you may be choosing between two people. Um, you may be, you know, making a decision between a couple people, like who you would like to be with. But ultimately, it's you making the decision to have healthy boundaries and to stick with those healthy boundaries that you set because it's one thing to have the boundaries but if we let people always push our boundaries and constantly you know go over our boundaries then what's the point of having them so it's about making the decision to keep these boundaries strong and know that they are healthy and that they are there for a reason so wow okay so what I'm feeling with this is that ah, act as if so whatever it was in your past energy that was pushing you to the extreme you are being guided to do the opposite to in order to you know <laughs> to um what I'm hearing is um uh to slow your passion a little is if it's like sexual you're being guided to make sure that you in the future you will have the boundaries that you need and you know Instead of just having extreme passion, <laughs> um, you know, being in the energy of, you know, acting as if you aren't hungry, acting as if you, um, you know, acting as if you already have it, acting as if it's already here. So, yeah, what would, what would it be like if, that thing that you were hungry for, if you already had it, if it was already here, how would you be acting? What would your actions be? Act as if, because it's like you're being aligned with it, but it's like there are prerequisites to having it. So, wow, I love it. This is a very, like, look, you have kings, kings, justice, and the lovers. It's like major arcana and very mature energy here so i love it for you pisces wow so this has been your reading i hope you found something that you resonate with and if you did please remember to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already thank you all so very much for being here i love you i appreciate you and i will see you in your next one pisces